Project MC Square. Oh, hey y'all! I didn't see you there. <laughs> it's me, Belle Shells. I play Ember Evergreen in the Netflix original series Project MC Squared. Today, we're gonna be looking at Ember's Hanging Garden. Ember is the newest member of the Project MC Squared team. She's a super smart, super cool earth scientist who loves plants. That's why today, we're gonna make our very own hanging garden. <laughs> I just love this Ember doll from her flower crown all the way down to her cowgirl boots. And her bag is super cute too. I'm practically green with envy. STEAM, right here at the top of the box, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. We're gonna be using science in our experiment today. As you can see, the box has daisies all over it, which is Ember's favorite flower. This section is called Picking Up STEAM, which explains the science behind a hanging garden. There's definitely science behind every green thumb. And here are the steps to make your own garden, but we'll build ours together in a jiffy. All right, let's dig in. Here's Ember. <laughs> Isn't her outfit cuter than a country critter? I wish I could wear this dress every single day. And her boots too. She comes with the sweetest bag and this fun comb shaped like an Erlenmeyer flask for the perfect mix of science and fashion. Now, the best part, the hanging garden. <laughs> this is called a terrarium. It's like how pet fish live in an aquarium, pet plants live in a terrarium. Here's our base and stand that holds the terrarium up and the pipette to water our plant. You're gonna need a few things from home, like water, small pebbles, potting soil, sheet moss, and activated charcoal. You can use seeds or a small plant. This is a Crassula marginalis rubra, also known as a calico kitten, but any plant will do. <laughs> All right, let's get started. First, put some pebbles on the bottom of the terrarium. This allows water to drain through the soil to provide moisture without your plant sitting in water. Next, we're gonna add some activated charcoal, which will make sure the water in your terrarium stays nice and clean for your plant. <laughs> the moss will act as a barrier, keeping the pebbles and charcoal separate from the soil, while allowing water to pass through. Add enough potting soil so your plant's roots will have plenty of room to grow. Finally, it's time to plant. Place your plant or seeds in the soil and press it down to make sure the soil is nice and firm. Add a little more soil to make sure your roots or your seeds are covered. Last step, water your plant. If you're using a succulent like me, you'll only need to water your plant about once every two weeks. This is because the terrarium creates a three-step water cycle. First, the water in your terrarium evaporates. Second, moisture collects at the top and on the sides until water droplets form. Third, the water droplets drip down to the plant and start over again. Try this experiment with different types of seeds or different types of soil to see where it works best. Congratulations! <laughs> You're a super smart, super cool earth scientist now too. Just like Ember Evergreen. <laughs> All right, I gotta make like a tree and leaf. Bye now. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make Michaela's light bulb, a light up glitter globe that comes with the Michaela doll. Today, I'm going to show you Adrian's bath face, a chemistry experiment you can bring in the bath. 